lower rock layers are older than the layers above them. A lot of concepts that we're covering in the fourth grade are concepts that take place over what could be thousands or millions of years, or that take place in an instantaneous second. Which rocks do we think form first, the bottom layer or the top layer? So those things are very hard for students to be able to understand without some kind of model that can kind of break it down either into a quicker speed in terms of if it's taking place over thousands of years or a longer speed if it's taking place in a second. And I've seen them reference the simulation almost every class. And so while it's something that we don't do every class, it is often a piece of evidence that they're using to, to support some idea that they have. I think the oldest is cellstone because that's the first one that formed and that's the one that's all the way at the bottom. And almost always when we have a discussion, the simulation is up on a computer so that if students want to, they can reference it, they can build something, they can show something, and it provides them with a much deeper understanding of a concept that could be very abstract or impossible for them to see. First. Older rock layers 